Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. In this series of videos, we're gonna be talking about core concepts and strategies for the early childhood teacher certification exams. Use this video and other videos to help you on your teacher certification exam. Let's think about early childhood and play. And think about how play is so important. And we have these three stages of play. Solitary play, parallel play, and cooperative play. Well, solitary play, you're going to see a lot of solitary play. You know, for our, our one to twos and our even our twos to threes, you might see solitary play. But hopefully at some point you start to see a little bit of parallel play. So I'll put down parallel play, two to threes. But eventually in preschool, eventually we're going to want to see students interacting with one another. So I'll put down three to four, definitely four to five, absolutely in kindergarten five to six, where we see this transition from parallel play to more cooperative play, where in cooperative play involves students sharing and interacting, building social skills, taking turns, building empathy. Cooperative play is the ultimate goal because we have an awareness of Vygotsky saying that learning happens through social interaction. Any type of activity in preschool, especially for our three to fours, four to fives, and kindergarten, five to sixes, we want to make sure that the learning happens in an environment of play. And that risk-free, hands-on activity, that's the piece that's helped facilitating the learning. Let's look at the question. It says here, number two. Which of the following types of play behavior found among preschool children typically appears last in the sequence of development? Let me circle play behavior. And let's think about preschool. And we're looking for the one that's last in play or the most advanced play skill. A, playing alongside another child and imitating the child's play. I'm going to circle the word alongside. B, Engaging in solitary activities such as sand or water play. I'll circle solitary. C, agreeing on a fantasy theme and acting it out with other children. Let me circle that fantasy and acting it out with other children. And D, building something with other children and then dismantling it. All right, well, which one of these are solitary play? Which one is clearly solitary play? That's B, right? That infant or toddler. They're playing by themselves. They're not interacting with another child. This would be that first stage of play. Which one is parallel play? I think A is referring to it, the alongside. The child is playing alongside another child. Maybe one child's playing with blocks and the other child's playing with blocks, but they're not acknowledging that either one is there. Okay, but this is, this is parallel play. This is part of the play process, sort of that intermediate stage of play. Now, which one is cooperative play? Some teachers say building. We're building something together, but then you're knocking it down. So you're not really working as a team. But this fantasy piece, or, or better yet, uh, let's write down instead of fantasy, when we see that, let's write down dramatic play. Dramatic play, that preschooler is assigning a role. I'm gonna be Olaf, you be Elsa, you're Sven. And they're playing out or acting out something. They're working together through play, taking on different roles. This is an example of cooperative play or fantasy play. And, and through this play, a child's getting exposure to different experiences. Through this cooperative play and interacting with another child, they're building out their oral language. They're having to talk to another child, having to communicate, having to use some basic social skills. And we can take these core social skills in this language development, and we can translate these into not just dramatic play, but we can translate these into learning experiences that incorporate aspects of play. The answer is B. Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. If you like this video, press the like button below or subscribe to our channel. This allows us to do more videos for teachers on their teacher certification exams. And if you need additional help, you can come and check out a Go Academy workshop or webinar or tutoring. You go to www.goacademy.com. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.